Good morning, PCMS. Um, this demonstration is to practice some good scientific um, practices, uh, such as observations, um, interpret, explain, describe, you really applying those words that you hear and try to use all the time in other classes, um, but this is where it really benefits, um, benefits your work. So this is the balloon lab. The objective is I will be able to make a prediction, write down my observations, and create a conclusion based on the balloon lab experience. So prediction, what do you think is going to happen when we move that balloon closer to the candle? Okay, make a prediction, what do you think is gonna happen? What could possibly happen to the candle? What could happen to the balloon? How far away do you think? You could, you could use a measurement prediction. I, I think that it will, I think something will happen at six inches. I think something will happen at 12 inches. I think something will happen at two inches. Make a prediction on what you believe is gonna happen to the balloon and or the candle as the distance decreases, okay? Observations, please write down some observations. And this might be a good time to have a breakout group on, on your Zoom meeting. Write down your observations and uh, as a group or break in a breakout section, write down your conclusion restating your prediction on whether it was right, wrong, what went well, what didn't go as at what didn't go as planned as you thought. Okay? So part 2 of the of the balloon lab is we took one of the regular balloons and we filled up just a little bit with water. So we put water inside the balloon, okay? So thinking about re remembering what happened to the previous balloon, make a prediction on what will happen to the balloon or to the candle when there is water inside of the balloon. Will it, will it speed up the process? Will it slow it down? Will it take longer? Will it be at closer distance? Will it be at further distance? All of these observations that you're visually able to see make a prediction on what you think will happen when there is water inside of the balloon, okay?
Pretty cool, huh? So, write down your list of observations. That was a long time. That's the longest that I've seen in the years that I've done this. Um, make visual observations, quantitative observations. Uh, the quantitative observation would be the, the amount of time that it took for that balloon to pop. What happened to the candle? Did, did it stay lit? Did it go out? Why do you think it went out? Write down those observations, anything that you can think of. And then maybe, maybe this will be a good time for a breakout session. Talk about it. And then we will come together and write a conclusion. 